Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I was just coloring a design in this morning, a radial design that is. You know, that's one that starts in the center and goes out. And this particular radial design is known as a mandala. Mandala is a Sanskrit word for circle or center, loosely translated. And the mandalas that we see today originate back to mostly to the area of Tibet and Nepal. There, the monks there would use these as a part of their sacred practice for helping to calm their minds, to get centered, to get focused, and to be able to uh, approach the world from a better perspective. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering, what's the big idea? Well, Today, we are going to create some mandalas. These mandala designs are amazing. So get ready because the best is yet to come. For this project, you're going to need some white paper, some colored pencils or markers, and a regular pencil as well as some type of a circle stencil. It could be a paper plate, or I'm gonna use this uh, Tupperware container. It should work out just fine. As long as it fits on your paper, it will work. So let's get started. Make sure you put your stencil in the middle of your paper. You don't want it going off the edge of the page. Trace it with a pencil first. And after you trace that circle shape with a pencil, go over it with a black marker. Be sure to take your time so that you can do a neat job. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to use my scissors and carefully cut out my circle. Once you've cut out your circle, you're ready to divide it into quarters. That's the same thing as fourths. So we're gonna fold our circle in half. Line up the edges and make a crease with your fingers. Fold it once more. So you have a shape that kind of looks like a pie slice. If you're in upper grades and you'd like to fold it one more time, you'll find that you'll end up with eighths and that will still work for this design. But we're gonna keep it simple so all of our artists will be able to follow along. Once you're done, you're going to use your pencil to make a dot in the very center of your design. We're only gonna be working with one quarter at a time. So I'm gonna fold it back in two fourths and I'm going to take my design and now I'm gonna do a design that starts in the middle and works its way up. You can use any kind of geometric or organic lines that you would like. I'm going to start mine by making a curve like a rainbow shape and on top of that curve, I'm gonna make shapes that look kind of like a bunny hopping across. After all, Easter's coming up. And now I'm going to do a design on top of here, and this time I'm gonna use a letter V. You do not have to use a letter of the alphabet, but I think it's gonna be interesting on mine. If I didn't connect it all the way, I think I'm going to turn what would be a mistake into something better by adding an extra stripe on the right hand side of each of these designs. Maybe above here, we'll do a circle. Ooh, maybe we'll do a circle on every other one and a rectangle in between. And above here, maybe I'll do another line that's kind of like a rainbow shape. These designs are radiating out from the middle of my circle. So when I fold it out, you'll notice that I only have the designs on one fourth. So now I'm gonna have to get these designs to the rest of my project. Can you think of how I might be able to do that? You think about that while I finish drawing my design. If you look carefully, 
you should be able to see your design, but a simple suggestion would be to put it on a window. Let's do that so we can see our design better when we trace it. Transferring your design is simple if you have a window to work with. Simply take your design and fold it in half and place your design against the window. You'll be able to see the outline simply. Take your time so you don't draw on the window though. If you decide there's anything else you want to add to your design, you can certainly do it now. Maybe in one of these corners. I wanted to start with this shape that would have been like a teardrop. Well, I can go ahead and add that now. Maybe it will even look like a butterfly or like a flower. Did you know that people all around the world love radial designs? Radial designs, those that start in the center and move their way out, remind people of the sun. They remind people that they're connected to the world around them and they can be found in nature and in man-made objects. As you're working on a mandala, you can let your mind relax. You can let your thoughts wander. You can let your imagination go wild. Focus on the shapes you're creating. Focus on the designs you're making. If you're interested in learning more about mandalas, then you can check out the links in the description below for some interesting articles. You can also go to the school's website and check out NC Wise Owl for some kids safe searches. I hope you enjoyed making mandalas with me today. When you take your time and clear your mind, you'll find art can make you feel focused, help you relax and be more creative. In stressful times, it can calm your spirit and improve your perspective. Until next time, much creativity always, artist.